you will consider to be hardcore rednecks. Like, if you're not listening closely, you won't even understand the word they're saying. So, you can't tell me that America is a racist country when there's virtually nothing stopping you from becoming the best you can be in that country. Mm. Unlike other countries around the world, I mean, try doing business in South Korea as a non-Korean. Yeah, let's cross. It's Patrick Blackrock, a P money Patrick, coming to you from Thailand. And who I got with me today? Nah, nah. She don't speak. She don't speak no English. But yeah, man, I want to talk today about the dark truth about the quote-unquote racism in the United States. You see, I've lived in the United States for since 2007. You know, over two decades now. And I have traveled extensively across the world and lived in other parts of the world extensively. So it's not just traveling and vacationing, but living there and working and doing business in other countries. And I'm telling you from my experience, there is no such thing as racism in America. Okay? I'm going to go into details. So I know some of y'all want to believe that America is a racist country, but it's not. Okay, America is not a racist country. It's quite marvelous when you hear some people make this accusation that one of the greatest country, countries in the world, which is America, in uncharted territory when it comes to the experimenting Mortal, cultural, mortal, racial, mortal, ethnic, and now mortal <laughs> genders, if you want to believe that. I have no judgment. Countries is backwards. America is very, very tolerant. And one of the things that I love about America is it doesn't matter what kind of idea that you come up with. If you can deliver value to the people, you will be successful, regardless of what you identify as. And I cannot say that for a lot of countries in the world that are developed, not developing countries, but developed countries. You see, if you bring value in America, they buy from you. And I say this as a guy who had lived in the Deep South, both Georgia and Texas, which I consider the Deep South. Having an accent, coming from a third world country, dark as hell. And I don't know, I do not experience the amount of racism the left will have you believing exists in America. And these are people living in places like California and the likes. You see, Koreans will not buy from you based on the value that you bring or Japanese people, Chinese. I'm not picking them there, I'm just using them as an example. How you doing? To illustrate my point, they will buy from their own. Regardless of the type of value you add in, you know, the price, the product, any other stuff. They could kill this. But Americans, because I remember, I used to say, uh, pause. You want me to hold your hand? You can't cross by yourself. <laughs> All right, I got to do my video. I'm going to walk behind you. You're supposed to walk behind me. 
Yeah? Why are you walking in front of me? You know, the rules of monarchy dictates that the queen shall walk two steps behind the king. See, so you got to check them. Because I see here in Hatia, women always walk behind their men. But you want to walk in front of me. <laughs> it's okay. I forgive you. But um, where was I before I got interrupted? <laughs> I'm talking to the camera, not you. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, they will not buy from you based on the price of the product or the value of the product, but solely on what being feast them as a collective whole. Right, so racism does not exist in America in a way that it can actually hold you back or prevent you from making any moves that you want to make. I gotta focus this game but sometimes it has a mind of its own. It starts switching up on me. I make sure I'm getting a good uh See, this is actually better. And I'm using the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Way much better than using the Insta360 camera. So this is way much better for me than that. I'm sure actually I'm gonna either return them or sell them. I have two of them. And they uh, I, don't, I just don't like the quality of it. And I know people like when I shoot with my iPhone. You could tell by the comments and the viewership. So, for the first time in my life, now, I mean, it's been, I've been like developing like this for a while now, but now I'm kind of really, really cemented on this position. Biden or Trump, I'm indifferent. On those two old farts okay it doesn't matter who gets it whether Biden gets re-elected or Trump gets elected I am of the school of heads or tail we win incorporated it doesn't matter who gets elected and this is how the rich thinks you know, they will take care of themselves, regardless of who gets elected. Because you look at, right now, the people jumping up and down and clamoring for the return of Donald Trump. Those were probably the same people who were clowning him about four years ago. Saying that he's the worst thing to ever happen to America and he's crazy, he's racist and all that and that he's gonna start World War Three and he's gonna ruin the economy and all that nonsense because it was not popular today it seems like it's a popular thing to be on the Trump bandwagon it's the cool thing to do but motherfuckers was on his bandwagon especially after he came down that escalator <laughs> huh? It was not. So, how are you positioning yourself today as a black man or even any other man? Because there is really nothing holding you back from achieving and doing what you. Not, 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 indeed, not today. Not today. There's really absolutely. Nothing holding. I gotta change my hand because this game bag is quite heavy. Nothing holding you back. So, how are you positioning yourself with everything that is going on in the market? Because the market moves with all this stuff. Like, how does uh, 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 Trump doing way, well on the debates affect equities, bonds? Because I know bonds, really, they would do good. 
if he gets back, stocks are going to do good because that comes with he's going to really st trying to or even start twisting Jerome Powell's hands to lower interest rates, which is going to help with the consumer index. And then you're talking about for commodities are gonna do well, energies are gonna do well. Then he's gonna put in some tariffs this way. It's fourth floor, right? Four. Huh? Maybe four or five. Oh, you don't know? <laughs> I'm not oh, sure. Okay. Then he's gonna put in more tariffs because Biden is quite more targeted when it comes to tariffs, putting tariffs on Chinese made products, whereas Trump is more like fuck it, we, everything we Chinese made on it, we're gonna tax the shit out of it. Go, yeah, let's go up and check. So, how are you positioning yourself with that, on that? Because it doesn't matter who gets elected. If you're a smart man, you should know that that shit does not affect you. It does not at all. All right, let's see. I gotta help her out, find out where we're going. <laughs> we're still looking for it. You know, one thing that I learned, <laughs> Thai people never ask for direction. They could walk around all day looking for something. They rarely like stop going somewhere and ask someone for direction. They will walk around literally all day looking for something without taking like few seconds, less than one minute to stop by. You see, for me, I would have stopped an accent. But she will walk around up and down sideways till she finds it. They don't stop and she's not the only one. Men and women are like, can we ask? She said no. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> There's no shame in stopping and asking someone where you are going. Why you don't want to ask nobody? Because you don't go to the restaurant and you ask another restaurant for food. What's wrong with that? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. I know that. No. There's nothing no. wrong with that. You can stop and ask the one for another restaurant. It's like, can you check on your phone? Oh, I have to Google it. Inside the mall, there's no healthy information on Google. Google will tell you outside, not in. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go down. <laughs> Once we go down, I'm asking for some asking someone. What is it called? You remember the name? Yeah, can you tell me? What is it? Mendawin. Uh, Mendawin? <laughs> you don't know. You won't tell me the name? I'm asking someone. Let's go down. I'm all going to be walking around up and down. Time is the most valuable asset that we have in this life and I don't waste it for nobody. Watch out. That's it over there? <laughs> Mandarin. Mandalino. So we're gonna, looks like we're gonna do some barbecue here. Yeah, we're going to do barbecue. Look at Nana cooking. 
easy. Don't hurt yourself, my pretty girl. Look at pretty girls cooking. I like that. No crazy fingernails. That's the hen of a girl that can cook good food. Look at that. She's a natural. <laughs> Let Nana cook. Let her cook. Let Nana cook. <laughs> All right. So we, we got uh this is good to eat like this, right? All right, let me, I'm hungry already. Let me start eating. We eating good here. Mm, this is good. This is uh, what? Just like chicken. Chicken, right? What is it? Oh, it's dark. Oh, okay, that's why it tastes like chicken. Oh, wow. New Zealand? New Zealand? So this one is the New Zealand. Yeah? I ordered a. Uh, New Zealand beef. And I order US beef. It is, <laughs> my God, it is so skinny. Yes, yeah, but look at on the picture, it looks like a whole pound of beef. Whereas, like, I can see through it. Like, Looks like suya in Nigeria. We get more, or we get just this one. Just one. Just one? Oh man, when I was in Pata, yeah, you could get as many as you want. You can get many. But you will be charged for ordering more. Buffet. Oh, it's buffet? So we can get more? Oh, okay, that's what I want to know. So I can get more and not get charged for it. Like charge like it's a regular restaurant. Alright, this acts as my appetizer. I eat the whole thing. <laughs> uh, Self-preservation fellas. Always think of yourself first. Yeah. Selfish is a good thing sometimes. Just don't let him see you be selfish. Can we order drinks? Oh, it's boring. It's boring. Balling. Um, I have the. Oh, can you order it? I have a tendency to. Butcher my words. Did it? Is it ready? <laughs> you gonna taste it first? <laughs> See one thing, uh, <clears throat> why is it Thai people don't ask for stuff? Mm -hmm. Like, you need Wi Fi, but rather than ask them for the password for their Wi Fi, she don't have the password? Did you they ask? They do. No. I saw. No, I saw Mandarin. Yeah, they do have Wi Fi. <laughs> I saw it. Mm -hmm. They have Wi Fi. 5G2. A lot of meat. I like meat. And some corn. Soup. Yeah. That's good. Right. What is this one? 
Oh, lever. Oh, okay. Got some lever. This pie, right? That's the garlic rice. Yeah. This here. Try this. It's a bit salt. Mm. You can put it there. Okay. So I can't tell which which is which between the New Zealand beef. Oh. Mm -hmm. Which one is this? New, New Zealand? Zealand? Oh okay. Oh. Some good beef. Chunky meat? Some chunky meat. You know the thing with America, people might claim or oh, am I get racist? But as soon as they find something that benefits them, all that racist stuff goes out the window. I remember when I first moved to Texas and I got a job selling selling cars mostly selling trucks and I would have these guys rednecks come in to buy trucks from me like they would be speaking in jargon like I want a two-ton truck okay. I, I, like, I had no idea what that meant. Because I did not grow up with trucks. But they stay bought from me. And you have some guys believing that men like that wouldn't buy from me. But I sold more trucks. I became Ram, Ram certified because I was selling Ram trucks, brand new ones. I sold more trucks than the white guys that work there. Because I made it my mission to, to know everything about trucks, the job rating. So when they come in to buy their trucks, because a lot of them, they do hot shot. When they come in to buy their trucks, I sit down and do job rating with them, asking them probing questions like what are they going to be using the truck for, how much are they going to be towing, what kind of terrain to ascertain whether they need a 4x4 four four or just a regular truck, asking how long you're going to be spending a truck, you want an old plane Jane or you want like a Laramie, all decked out. So I ask those questions to make sure that I tell them so you don't buy equipment that you're never going to use. And I got so much referral from guys like that. I mean, guys, you will, thank you, you will consider to be hardcore rednecks. Like, if you're not listening closely, you won't even understand the word they're saying. So, you can't tell me that America is a racist country when there's virtually nothing stopping you from becoming the best you can be in that country. Mm.
unlike other countries around the world. I mean, try doing business in South Korea as a non-Korean. Oh, what is this? Fish. Fish? Oh, okay. Oh, wow. They deliver in like small portions. Try doing business in Japan as a non-Japanese in a non like foreigner populated areas. Try selling products to other Japan like Japanese people. You could call it nationalism, but who cares? If you're a moving product, you don't make it money, who cares if it's nationalism, racism, communism, socialism, classism, or any kind of ism, who gives a fuck? If you ain't selling, people ain't buying from you, and you ain't making a living in a particular country, who cares what it is? And, you know, and that's why I have so much hope for America in terms of business. And I continue to invest in that country because there ain't shit out here that can fuck with it. Mm. And I'm so grateful for America, man. It's not perfect, but in so many ways. Mm. That's some type of sausage. Wow. Man, there's so many beautiful women here. Look at everywhere you look. So many beautiful Thai women. <laughs> huh? What do you think when you see so many beautiful Thai Five girls. Mm -hmm. What do you feel? You like looking at it? Or you don't care? <laughs> you don't care? <laughs> Every time I step out of the house, I hear so many beautiful Thai women. And I like to, you know, observe. It's like a walk of art, man. You appreciate the beauty. Appreciate, and they are so gracious. They are so gracious here, more than, better than all the parts of Thailand that I've been. Women here, they are so gracious and gentle. Oh, I like the rice. You want to try it? Oh, you got one. Like brown rice. Mmm. It in good brown rice with them. It in good. Non-vegetarian with the brown rice. In the U.S., you have access to credit, like, all that bullshit about Trump and Biden, all that shit is noise to distract you from the revolution that is currently going on, and that's AI. How are you positioning yourself to be proficient in prompt engineering and things of that nature? The first wave have gone by, which is like NVIDIA, AMD and companies like that, Microsoft. The second wave, which is going to be like Parentier, Snowflake, and companies like that, which would be more of the data centers. How are you investing in those waves? Because if everything's said and done, if AI takes over and you're able to make a couple of, you know, a few chains, a few millions and you have that, you could deploy that to gain, because this is like electricity being invented. And Trump, that's all noise. 
You see, the act of man is for you to discern and distill between noise and signal. You follow the signal, you ignore the noise. All that is nothing but distraction. I mean, different. It doesn't matter. Trump, Biden, who gives a fuck who gets elected? Thank you. I'll be good. I will try. Heads or tail. I win incorporated. Right. Let's try the fish. No? Why? Oh, you ate it already? Are you serious? When did you eat it? She ate both of the fishes. And closed it like it was nothing. Because you talk a lot. Because I was talking. And you just ate the fish. Oh my god. <clears throat> if you're enjoying the video so far, please do me a solid favor and click that like button. If you have not subscribed to the channel, click the subscribe button and the bell notification button so you are notified whenever I drop a video. Continue to what I'm saying, to what I was saying. And if you don't like what I'm saying, leave on the comment section what you disagree with. And if you agree, put on the comment section what do you think. But I refuse to believe that America is fundamentally a racist country it is not by any shadow of the imagination and I'm speaking from someone who had lived extensively in other countries okay it's not perfect there are things that are fucked up in the country like dating but that is across the board it's fucked up for everybody I mean look at how beautiful these women are <laughs> and she doesn't get crazy or jealous because she knows she's my girl. Can I get more meat? Where's the meat? Thank you. Let's get more meat. Yeah, but it's fucked up across the board for everybody. You know, in Texas where I live, Southern Texas, in recent years I've seen more white men. I mean, I wouldn't say they're not like bald headed or obese. I mean, really, I don't want to say good looking, but you know, I don't want to say attractive, Yes, they're attractive, but just trying to make my point that not bad looking white man, single at HEB, buying groceries, buying food to cook for themselves. When I came to this country back in 2007, that was on, I mean, I would say unheard of, but you rarely saw that. If that was a, like a white man in the supermarket, in shape physically in shape he's usually with his woman with his wife girlfriend but these days you see so many singles so the hypogamous nature of the of the, the western women and the, the imperative that I put out there these days are driving even are driving this thing and you know they empower women to this and that and the other and the third and they don't need men no more and they act accordingly you know in these places that I visit and these countries that we come to and dating is so easy they're not dating us because you know, we are, you are, you are white or black. I'm talking about dating, not hooking up, because hook up, that's, 
definition. Is the economy stupid? Because the prospect for them being us and having a better life is much more better than going with a local man. That's just the truth. All right? So I've traveled extensively. I remember when I was traveling around Oslo, Norway, Sweden, which I really I enjoy my time there. But dating over there was a different issue. Hooking up, I did, you know, do that. I did a lot of hooking up because a lot of them they just out of curiosity for me being, you know, black and back then I had my six pack. I wore my hair in a twist. What are you laughing at? You understand what I'm saying? No. Well, what are you laughing? About this. Oh. Hey. I don't know how to cook. So for them, yeah. Thank you. It was a case of curiosity. South Korea, the same thing when I was over there, hooking up, eat the one we partied. And that's one of the things that college did for me was the partying and the people that I met. And those degrees, it was a damn thing today, but this is fish. Fish? What is this? Can you answer? What is this? Yosa. Like like fish? Chicken. Chicken, oh, okay. Mmm. Crispy. Mmm, I like it. The swag up, jet set to Lagos. From the heart of Niger, no cap, no fables. Passport tatted up like a gangster memoir. Journey around the globe, like won't stay in one bar. King oh. Cheese Clapper, modern day Solomon looking dapper. From Niger to Yankee on that grind 24 7. Dollar signs and his eyes stay away to heaven. He's the plug in the city, got the hustle on lock. No Bitcoin needed, he's the solid rock. I know uh, guys that they be in the Philippines, white guys, and they think uh, Filipinos are with them because of their, the color of their skin. I mean, to a varying degree, there might be some, but that's not the major driving uh, reason. But if you're with a girl that is with you based on your, your you know, the color of your skin, then you know, you might have a problem in your hand, because that's not a healthy thing. With that PM money ring, Paris morning, bagels and cream, Dubai sunsets, living the dream. So. Mm -hmm. King mm. cheese clapper, making ways like no other. Powering all these women, fuck my man, fuck, fuck, fuck them up in the head. That's the one thing that I, in America, that is hugely fucked up is the dating scene, the you know mental health. These just things just fucking to the extreme, driving people crazy. And mental health is the number one reason that. That contributes to the mass shooting and loneliness. People are so lonely, and it's not, and it's not like senior citizens. I'm talking about guys in their prime, doing well, good education, making good money, I'm just lonely. Thank you. Is this ready to eat? I have to cook first. Okay. 
just uh, just eat the rice from there. Oh, I like the rice. Oh. Can I get that chicken again? That chicken that I ate. So this is beef. Ah. Oh wow. Nice, tender and juicy. Mm. Nice, tender and juicy. Not too soft, I like it like this. I feel like I'm eating suya. You know suya? It's Nigerian um, beef grilled just like this one. like tomatoes and onions and pepper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me see. Oh, 800 and 
quick to see it's back. Good. Don't think I. Yeah, I'll let you know I like candy. <laughs> so everything came out to. Man, that was some good food. I am so full, thank you. Open day for me. Very attentive. Reason why I love Thai women. Very attentive. I'm too good rapper. Yeah. Put in the comment section what you think so far. You think America is a racist country or not? And what do you think of Southeast Asia? And uh, yeah, man. You want to stop our watching? What do you want to get? Every time you got to uh, make a pit stop our watching. Oh, I wait for you out here. So many beautiful girls in there. <laughs> so many beautiful girls around here. All over. Every time I come out here, so many temptations, man. But I maintain beautiful women all over. I know some of y'all, y'all like big butts. That's why y'all be going down to Colombia and getting deleted. But I like this out here. And I, I've seen a couple of, I've seen about two like African guys here with beautiful Thai women. And man, so many beautiful girls. Beautiful in the face. Anywhere you look, there's just so many of them. But uh, what I was saying, yeah man, I, I hear more Africans do well. I mean, a lot of you black guys, you come down here, you run down to Soy 6 or whatever the fuck. Whatever go-go bars are. And you're dealing with bad girls. That's why you all get your savings run through. Get your whole account run through by a walking girl. Rather than having patience and meeting a real woman. Now, I see some of the things y'all walk around with, man. It's pitiful. It's pitiful. And some of y'all be with them, them Decepticons. You act like, uh, you know, you don't know. You know, I've been coming to Thailand since 2021. And I never met a Decepticon. Y'all be knowing they decept Because I get in Thailand, they disclose that shit. Like, they're not trying to play bait and switch on you. They don't do that out here. They disclose it. But I see y'all be with them Decepticons, man. But as always, like, share the video, and comment on the comment section what y'all think what about what I said. I'll see you on the next video. Be money out. About to go home, lay down. Wake up, clap some cheeks, as we always do, because that's what we do out here in the land of abundance, where we the price. All right. If you like that video and you want to watch others like it, click right here. Leave your new dream.